Okay, I'm making this tutorial for my favorite sawdust girl and uh, what we're going to do is she wants a way for people to submit a post on her new site uh, thesawdustdiaries.com So this, the name of this plugin is called User Submitted Post and, it, and a lot of people have been a little bit frustrated with it uh, so I'm just going to make this tutorial because I think it's a great plugin and I think the author is amazing uh, just maybe clear up some things. So basically this is the way the, the plugin works. You go here, you, know, you type in your name, and you type in your URL. Uh, you give it a title. This is the title. And the post tags, uh, let's put DIY. And then there's a little uh, 1 plus 1 equals 2 to keep out the spam. And then if you had different categories, you could uh, make these categories available through the uh, dashboard. And then you would put, put in some content. Uh, this, okay, this some content. And then down here you can upload some images. So you would browse. Let me, let me see if I could find some images, maybe in my Google Drive folder. Graphics. So let's see here. Okay, let's get this cute little baby picture. And maybe want to add another picture here. Oh, let's see here. Uh, maybe my header. AimWebsitePro.com header. Okay. And then after you you put all this information in there, you click submit post. And you will either get an error or a success. And you see, I had a success. So there's some things people have been doing that have been airing this out. But after a, a user submits a post like that, what you would do is you would log into your dashboard here and go to Post, All Posts. Okay, and you'll see here's the one that it's pending. This is this is the title. And so when you click on that you're gonna see that this is the content but you're gonna ask me where are the pictures now you can see it was submitted and has a DIY tag and DIY projects okay but where the pictures are is in the uh, uh, custom well, let's see here custom fields so you gotta make sure that you have that clicked okay because that's the way this plugin works and if you scroll down here you'll be able to see that these there's the two pictures that I submitted okay and here's the other information so uh, the pictures are there just because they're not in the post just yet they are there and you would be able to see the pictures if you went to your media because they are uploaded so uh, one of the things that you can do is just click publish okay and whenever you go to the site again because you'll see your pictures there okay and then if you click on this is the title or continue reading you'll see that both your pictures are there so one's a featured image looks like I'm getting a little warning here uh, I failed to include stream so I'll go ahead and work that out but that's how you add the content to the uh, to the page okay um, now what a couple of things that I'd like to go over with you here is the settings for the um, user submitted posts are under settings down here okay now if you if you're unsure about how to install a plugin you can go to my website a1 website pro and just look up how to install WordPress plugin there's a video tutorial and a step-by-step -step guide to help you uh, get familiar with installing plugins but this options panel uh, this is if you want to show the username, if you want to show the post URL, show the in this form right here. We're talking about this particular form. If you want to show these things or not show these things, okay? So that's that's what this stuff is. So you can you can hide it or show it. Um, uh, I use HTML5 form and styles. Uh, you can have it include a, an external JavaScript file. That's what you want. Um, and you can also assign an, an, an author. We have different authors here. 
uh, but you could set up another user you can add, add a new user and make it um, you know like maybe a subscriber that uh, whenever they you know that when somebody comes and they submit a, a post to the to the website there um, they're going to be have have a role as a subscriber you'll still have to moderate and approve or whatever and so here's where it is auto publish you can um, always moderate pu always publish immediately or you could say hey once these guys have posted five times they're pretty trustworthy I've approved them five times so I'm gonna let them go ahead and post anything that they want but right now we just have a set on always moderate here we can receive an email anytime somebody posts something and then the email address you can put a redirect URL for the post submission and then this is our success message that we got thank you for your submission and if there was an error during the submission that's what the user would see and then you can put custom content in there if you like you can also register the user you, know, you can register your, the username for the author or register the URL for the submitted URL you can experiment with them you can change your challenge question if 1 plus 1 equals 2 uh, you may want to say what color is the sky and then type in blue down here to make it a little bit more difficult and then you can make it case sensitive if you like by ticking this box here um, here's the options for the image upload please select your image to upload and then you can set the minimum number of images like if you want them to submit at least two or three or one you'd select that there if you want the if you want them to submit up to nine images you can you would select that here I have a set of four right now now this is where a lot of people get into trouble they put a minimum width on the image like 300 but if a user tries to upload a photo that's 250 then they're going to get an error the same with the height and then the maximum image width 1500 is quite large so uh, I left it at 1500 just in case people were uploading photos but if the, the if the photo is going to be too large it's going to take up unnecessary bandwidth you can include a message saying that make sure the photo is under 1500 pixels wide and under 1500 pixels high okay now this is your short short codes this is what you would put into a post or a page or a widget so that people can see this form here and that's what we have in this page under submit a post we just have that little short code in there right now and then this is for uh, developers if they wanted to do a template tag uh, template for this that's what they would do and if you wanted to restore the default options you could do that here so I hope this has cleared up some uh, issues for some people and I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial my name is Max with A1 Website Pro thank you